One of our favorite hope heroes of all time, Pastor Luke Barnett, is preparing Dream City Church for the best season that they have ever had before. Anything in life without making a commitment. And by the way, the failure to commit is the definition of spiritual immaturity. I'm asking you to make a commitment to the most important thing in your life. More important than your wife, more important than your family. According to God, your spiritual life, your spiritual condition, your standing before God is the most important spiritual decision of your life. The habit, here they are, five things I'm asking you to commit to. The habit of weekly large group gathering. I want you to, I want you to come next Sunday, seven straight Sundays. Hear every message on the power of prayer in your life. It's going to change your life. The habit of small group fellowship. Get in a small group, either fusion on this campus or in a home. The habit of a daily time with God where you just talk to him a little bit. Just tell him what's on your mind and then sit back and listen because he'll speak to you. The habit of memorizing God's word. Get God's word in your heart. It'll change you. The habit of applying God's word. Live it out every single day. Serve somewhere in the church. I know what most of you are thinking right now. Luke, you, you're fired up today. You're pretty intense. You bet I am. Because I love you guys too much to allow you to waste your life. I want the rest of your life, whether it's five years or 50 years, to be the best of your life. So I'm going to do everything in my power as your pastor to force you to grow, to inspire you to grow, to encourage you to grow as you focus on the power of prayer in your life. Friends, when you study revival history, some of you know this, revivals in history always began when people prayed. And our nation needs a spiritual awakening like now, right now, like never before. We need a revival in our nation. We need a fresh sense of God's joy and God's peace and God's presence in our lives. And that begins to happen as we pray together. So I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet as we close this service. And I have one final question for you. And I hope you will go deep with this question right now. Because how you answer this question truly will affect your destiny. Here it is. Do you want to grow? Pastor Luke has prepared something amazing for all of you, and we have him here today to ask him what it's all about. So Pastor Luke, what is If You Only Knew all about? Well, If You Only Knew is not a sermon series. It's a spiritual growth campaign, which is much different than a sermon series. Now, in a sermon series, you come on weekends, you hear a message, you go home, and uh, you forget 95% of what I teach uh, within two days. That's a very humbling statistic for a pastor. But a spiritual growth campaign uh, employs all the different learning techniques and, and mechanisms to really make us grow spiritually. You know, Aubrey, the biggest problem in people's lives today, let's just be honest, is spiritual immaturity. Spiritual immaturity is when we make our decisions based on how we feel. Well, I just feel like doing that. That's a horrible reason to make a decision. Spiritual maturity is when we make our decisions based on truth. We make our decisions based on God's word. And we want to help grow our people up. It is God's will for people to grow up. Babies are really cute. Children are really cute. But a, a baby that doesn't grow up, that ain't cute. Excuse my grammar. You know, uh, that's tragic. And we want to help our people grow up. We, we all know people who have grown older in years, but they never grew up. They never grew closer to God. They're not experiencing God's promises in their life. And so what we're going to do during this 50-day period, starting October 3rd, is help our people grow into maturity so they can experience all the great blessings of God. Now, how are we going to do that? Well... There's a story in 2 Samuel where a man named Eliezer was a soldier. And the Bible says he fought a war and, and he, he clung to the sword for so long that it actually froze to his hand. Isn't that amazing? He won the battle, but the sword froze to his hand. We want 
the Word of God to freeze in the hand of, hands of our people so they can really know God's Word, grow in maturity, and experience all that God has for them. Now, I want you to think about this for a moment. If you only come on weekends and you only hear the Word of God, well, that's like gripping the Word of God like that. You're only getting it on Sundays or maybe hearing a message on the radio. And when you only have that in your life, only hearing the Word of God, look how, look, that, that's not much of a grip. You know, uh, Satan can come right in and steal the Word from you, steal the promises of God, steal your joy. But when you hear the Word of God, and then also you read the Word of God, now, now you got a little, little bigger grip, but still, the, the enemy is able to steal it from you. But when you hear the Word of God, and you read the Word of God, and you study the Word of God, now look at this, now we're getting pretty good grip, right? But still, it's able to be stolen. But when you hear the Word of God, and you read the Word of God, and you study the Word of God, then you memorize the Word of God. Now look at now we're getting somewhere, right? Now it's a little harder to get away. But then when you hear the Word of God, and you read the Word of God, and you study the Word of God, and you memorize the Word of God, and then you meditate on the Word of God, which simply means you think about God's Word deeply. You think about how it applies to your life, your family, your future. Now look at this. Now you got a real good grip on God's Word, but it can still be stolen unless the last part is the palm. When you put, when you hear the Word of God, when you read the Word of God, when you study the Word of God, when you memorize the Word of God, when you meditate on the Word of God, and then you apply it. You apply it in your life. Now look, nothing's getting that out of my palm now. That's what we want to be true of your life during If You Only Knew. If you only knew, if you only knew the promises that God has for your life, if you only knew the miracles that God wants to do in your life. And for 50 days, we're going to employ all of those things. We're going to coach you. We're going to mentor you in all these areas of your life. And you are going to grow spiritually and become mature so that all the promises of God can be released in your life. This is going to be the single greatest season of our church. I'm believing that. Miracles are going to take place. Breakthrough with family is going to take place. Breakthroughs in your business, in your finances, in your health. I'm believing for the greatest season of breakthrough in the history of Dream City Church. Wow. Well, we are just so excited about what is coming up with If You Only Knew. Well, you heard it yourself. We are about to head into the greatest season our church has ever experienced ever. So stay tuned for all the details about If You Only Knew.